Hello everybody, my name is Chris and welcome to the recap video for Operation Deadly Omen, the new season coming to Siege in just a few weeks. Whether you missed the recap or are looking for something that you missed during that reveal, hopefully this will help you. So where to begin with this? Uh, well, the season releases onto the test server next week and then goes live onto the main build on March 12th to kick off this new year. Onto the operator for this season, it's no one other than the new attacker Deimos, the villain in the lore side of Siege. And love him or hate him, he's got quite an interesting loadout, with the AK-74M and the M59 shotgun as his primaries, and for a secondary he has the .44 Vendetta with a scope on it, and from what you're seeing, this secondary basically has no recoil, which may remind you of Cade's pistol when it first came out. Other than that, he is a 2 health, 2 speed operator with frag grenades and a hard breach charge. For his ability, he has the death mark trackers, which are small looking machines that track down the enemy for only him to see, and once it does detect that said defender, it'll not only reveal you, but it will also show you where Deimos is at, kind of like a jackal scan. Now the part that I actually may have a lot of fun with, and I assume most will, is that you can actually, you, you are only allowed to use his revolver during that entire hunt, which I find a quite a good addition, not gonna lie. <laughs> now you may be wondering what his counters are, and those are Vigil's cloak ability, Mute's jammers, and Tabero's canisters. Now moving on to the more interesting stuff throughout this season, we have the shield rework. After being revealed a year ago and then being delayed from Deep Freeze and then brought into the test lab earlier this year, it is finally ready to be released in this new season and new year of Siege. Now with shields in the present build, you're really limited to what you can do, other than annoy people greatly and just really melee them. But with Deadly Omen, you can do more, such as bashing through barricades, and now also knocking down players too, kind of like an orc charge but it also damages people. Uh, you can now look freely but at the cost of hip firing, but you can reload behind the shield. Now with this too, you can deploy your gadgets and such with the shield still up, protecting your head. And uh, for now, they're focusing on ballistic shields such as Fuse, Blitz, and Montang, but we could see this on for say, Clash, even for the future, and if possible maybe someone like Osa for instance. Now for a smaller change with player comfort, there will now be a pre-visualization for throwable gadgets such as flashbangs, grenades, and other gadgets like Legion's Mines, Aces, Selmas, and much more. Now this is a small but actually a nice change regardless of what people think of it, and for obviously for those who don't want it on, you can turn it off in the settings. Now also with this, there is a change to the repel system with this new season, making it more snappier and responsive, uh, as you can see on the screen right now, you see like a comparison between this season and the next season. Um, once again, a small change, but overall a nice one that will make it feel more better to use. Now moving on to player protection now, uh, new restrictions are being added to ranked. Uh, for returning players, you will need to win 5 PvP matches of casual and standard to access ranked. Not that bad, thankfully. But for new players though who are coming into Siege, Besides the level 50 requirement, you will need to have 10 attackers and 10 defenders alongside that in order to get access to ranked. Overall, not a bad change. And also speaking of ranked, just a little thing here that they also mentioned in this reveal panel. If you get up to gold 1 in this new season, you will get a super rare headgear for Thermite, which is pretty badass, it looks very nice. And if this is a testing ground for more rewards being put into ranked for the future, I'm definitely here for that. Now furthermore with cosmetics, we have the new locker system, which is a new way of browsing cosmetics that you own and such. Uh, you'll be able to manage your cosmetics now in a different way, and even finally having the ability to favorite them so that you can find them much easier now. As you can see on the screen, we have sections such as the pack manager, where you can manage your alpha and bravo packs, and obviously event packs too. The latest section, where you can see the recent cosmetics that you've acquired. The favorites, where you can view where the cosmetics you set as your favorite, obviously. And then other sections, which are the headgears and uniforms, weapon skins, operator portraits, backgrounds and animations, and gadget skins. This is a really good change that I am looking forward to as well, as many have been pleading for some type of like UI overhaul for like camos and charms especially, 
and just an easier way to view your, view your cosmetics and I think this is a really good system that they came up with. Now we move on to the change that I'm most excited for and I'm sure many are excited for too, the attachment changes. Now in the current build since Shadow Legacy, uh, we've had the Iron Sights, the 1x Sights, 1.5x, 2x, 2.5x, and the 3x Sights. But with Deadly Omen, we're going back to pre-Shadow Legacy, kind of. And it's now just going to be Iron Sights, Universal 1x Sights, Magnified 2x, 2.5x Sights, and Telescopic 3.5x Sights. Now for who gets access to these Sights, Defenders will have limited access to them, but on the attacker side, they'll also have access to almost all of these sites. And what this means, in good news, is that our beloved Ash R4C ACOG is back. And I assume so would the others like Buck and Zafia ACOG as well. Now alongside these site changes, there is changes to grips and also the laser site which is now getting a change from a hipfire bonus to a 15% ADS speed improvement, which is pretty interesting to see. For the grips though, Angled used to provide an ADS bonus back in the day, but now it provides a 20% reload speed bonus, and new with this season is the horizontal grip, which it provides a movement speed bonus, so if you're a speedy type of player, this one may be the one that you want to use mostly on your guns. Vertical grip does stay the same with managing vertical recoil, but instead of 20%, it's now a 15%, so not a big deal of a change for that. Now onto more stuff, we have the versus AI playlist and the map training playlist changes. So for the versus AI playlist, five new maps are being added in the likes of Organ, Consulate, Bank, Chalet, and Cafe. Not only can the defenders play as Malusi and Alibi now, but finally six more operators are available for us to play as, from Ash, Finca, Jackal, Buck, Lion, and Ayana. And in terms of the map training playlist, more maps are being added there too, with the likes of Skyscraper, Coastline, Border, and Nighthaven Labs, which is very good to see. So now on to balancing, Azami haters can finally rejoice because she is getting changed, her Kiba barriers could only be destroyed by explosive, being meleeed, or just by standing on top of it, but now with Deadly Omen coming along, you can destroy them with bullets now. Now as stated in the reveal panel, it won't be easy, as some weapons, like Thermite 556, will need somewhat like 36 bullets to destroy it, and certain guns, like the 417 DMR, will require 11 bullets, and the Supernova will require 3 shots. And to finish this off, LMGs are getting changed once again, where in year 7, with the recoil changes and such, it made them a little harder to use, but now in year 9, they are making them a little more easier to control. But to counter this, LMGs will make operators move 10% slower, which is somewhat of an alright counter. Although, I definitely believe that this is something you're gonna have to experience in-game to get like a first reaction on. So rather than judging, I think it will be quite an interesting one. Oh, and not to mention, Ying finally got an elite skin, and it looks pretty badass. I'll leave it at that. And that basically does it for this recap video of Deadly Omen. Uh, I'm quite looking forward to this new season of Siege, and pretty much this new year of Siege, as that cinematic got me hyped, and I'm looking forward to the year 9 reveal tomorrow as well. I hope you all are excited for this new year, and I hope you all enjoyed this recap as well, and if it helped you or helped anyone else, any form of support is appreciated. Now without further ado, I hope you all have a great rest of your day or night, and enjoy the grand finals of SI. Take care.